<laughs> Give daddy a kiss. <laughs> Hey YouTube family, welcome to my Motors and Muds slash Cars and Coffee meet and greet episode. I finally got around to editing and uploading this video, so if you're a fan of cars and pets, you'll sure want to stick around until the end. This event was sponsored by Thurman Eye Associates, a medical eye practice offering complete eye care across the Rio Grande Valley and state-of-the-art LASIK. They love cool cars and animals, so they were gracious enough to be our hosts. Coastal GX and Thurman and I got together to help out Yaki Animal Rescue, a very special organization dedicated to caring for all sorts of animals. All types of cool cars started rolling in early Saturday morning. I was eager to talk to as many people as I could. Uh, I've had it six years, and when I got it, it was nothing like this. It was an ugly green with a white top, and over the last six years, I replaced basically everything to get it to this point. That's a, is, that, is that his thing? I said he's not, he's not too friendly, Robert. So be yeah, okay. <laughs> no, no, he said he's friendly. Try to <laughs> He said he likes to kiss us right in the way. Give, give daddy a kiss. <laughs> Today I brought a... Let's just say hot rod, rat rod, street rods, a little bit of everything. It's a 27 touring body with a 32 tailgate, 29 grill, 55 Chevy rear end, 40 wheels, Cadillac big block, a few other things here and there. Hey Roy, this isn't the only vehicle that you have, man. I know that, you know, I don't know you that well, but I know you well enough that I know that you love cars. So you, you, you just have a passion for this. Is it? Does it have anything to do with your childhood? Of course, yeah, I grew up on a car lot, so it's in the blood. Uh, my grandfather had a car lot for about 30 years in Alamo, and I grew up on that, and my dad was a wrencher, so we always were wrenching on something. I, I'm not prejudiced against cars, so cars, trucks, four by fours, hot rods, street rods, don't matter. This is what I drive over here. I'm a photographer, a nature and landscape photographer, mostly. And, uh, well, I use it to take me with it. Normal people don't go. Yeah. And tell me, uh, Bernardo, so when you go out there, I've seen some of your work, some of your photography, very mm -hmm. beautiful photography, uh, but with sometimes I guess it's going to be a late evening, or you mm -hmm. might as well enjoy it. You just don't want to just take pictures. You also want to enjoy the evening or of enjoy course. your stay, right? Yes. Many times, you know, the places are so remote that I need to go there during the daytime and spend the night yeah. because driving in the night can be kind of dangerous and drive back the, the next day, therefore the camping thing on top of it. I'm driving the 55 Studebaker President. Um, it's the prestige auto of the Studebaker line in 1955. It's got a 259 engine in it. It's um, all original. Um, I got a steal on it. <laughs> uh, I remember, I'm a member of another Studebaker club where I came from. I came from South Georgia and a couple of Studebaker guys found it and they already had Studebakers so they thought well they'll sell it and I said hey that's what I want so I, I drive it daily. I don't, I'm retired so I don't necessarily go more anywhere but I drive it daily. It's awesome. I see something, what are, what's going on in the back? In I the back, plastic. And, right in the back this was, uh, they put in uh, air conditioning and the air conditioning the vents came from the back and cooled the whole car those are vents that come up and go to the to the head of the headliner and cool the whole car Sam how's it you going sell, you sell cars for a living yes sir Mercedes Benz but you're driving Dodge American Muscle I got some American <laughs> Muscle right Dodge this is a 1999 Dodge Viper RT 
Uh, this is my baby. It's got the 2008 GTS wheels. I've got the originals back home, but I just think these really give it a nice look. And they're staggered, so the, the front ones are a little more narrow, the back ones are a little more wider. Uh, the, the thing is really cool. It's got 8,900 miles. What? Yeah, it's, it is cherry. I'm a second owner, but 8,900 miles for a 1999, what, 22 year old car. So I think it's timeless too. Something that's really cool about this model, 1999, is still the last model with no anti-lock brakes and no traction control. So you better know what you're doing behind the wheel. Uh, it was actually the first year they introduced an airbag. So it's got one airbag, that's the only safety it's got. Oh, and seat belts, right? But, uh, but no traction, no anti-lock brakes. I think as time goes on, there's less and less of these out there because of that feature. Uh, and then check out the inside. It's like a blast from the past. It's got a, you know, old school CD player, uh, Alpine, you know, got that Alpine CD and it comes with like a kicker speaker. Uh, Look at how cherry this all is. All original, man. All original. Wheels. Yeah. Garage cab. Hell, I think, I think I've seen some uh, 2019, 2020s that are in worse shape. Oh, I know, man. <laughs> I know. I know. So this, you always have a garage this yeah. year? Your weekend baby? Uh, maybe once a month, baby. <laughs> I got both tops too. So the thing is really cool. Uh, the hard top is is a double bubble. I don't know if you ever seen it. It's got these two little uh, uh, bubbles on it. It kind of gives it that snake look. Yeah. Also, it's actually a neat. The reason why it has those bubbles is so that you can wear a helmet inside the vehicle and it gives you a little bit extra clearance there. Uh, but that's really what it's for, the helmet space. But no, I love it, man. It's a, it's a, yeah, this is where I bought it. When I was in high school in 1999, I graduated. This was my dream car. Like, you know, you're in high school and then uh, now to be able to own one, it's think it's pretty cool. And yeah, I think it's timeless too, man. I mean, it still turns heads and it's 20 years old, right? So it's pretty cool. What's going on, Robert? Brother, <laughs> you know, we love Toyotas. I think we got a good show here today, yeah. man. You brought the Overland Nomad. Here's the Nomad, yeah. That's the, the famous one. The famous one, yeah. <laughs> the one that got me famous. Yeah, this is a, this is a 1994 uh, Toyota pickup, four wheel drive. Uh, uh, my friend Jake did a solid axle swap on it. Uh, so the front suspension's not stock. It's, uh, it's different, solid axle instead of IFS. I have like an emotional attachment to it too. So I'll never get rid of it. You know, uh, it's all rusty in the front right now, but that's just how I roll, you know, but. But yeah, it's been reliable. Uh, great truck. Yeah. It's got great patina. Yeah. That's the way I call yeah, it. Yeah, it's character. Yeah, it's exactly. Character. It's character, yeah. You know, I exactly. mean, it's recognizable. Mm -hmm. It's you. It is. <laughs> it's you. Yeah, it is. All beaten and rusty. <laughs> yeah, all right. I mean, not too bad, not too bad. It's surface surface rust. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Don't make, don't, don't make fun of me in the comments. Don't do it. Uh, Land Cruiser, and the reason that I decided this vehicle is uh, reliable, and uh, I take my family on a road trip, so they want to be very comfortable in, 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 the, in the vehicle, and, uh, and, I, and I like it. And this is a little bit of fuel, just as a, it's an emergency, and I, and I got this tank for water, and then to wash dishes and everything. Also, I have this piece right here to, for my bicycle, but I don't take it, the bicycle this time, and I, I put this, uh, this, I just got here from Colorado. What bumper is that? The bumper is, uh, uh, I built it by myself. You built a bumper? Yes. Get the hell out, dude. That looks like a, like a reinforced Dobbinson's. Yeah. Some it's in the back. Oh, get tries to eat, bro. It's a wood for the from from my trip. And uh -huh. here's like the pantry. Uh huh. And uh and uh and here's like the, the, the kitchen. Have my stove and everything. Yeah. Well, I, I never cleaned that because uh, we are just got here last week. From, yeah. For my camping trip. Uh huh. So that's my my truck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but man, I love it. Uh, I know you're the real deal. I mean, we've we've been in in at least one trip together. Yes. You know, to Big Ben. We had a lot of fun. And, uh, but, uh, oh, you also have some uh, stuff up on top? Yeah, I have some ch chairs and uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, for paint time for myself. That's okay. what I have in the, in the, because I need more space in, inside inside my vehicle. And the Wii Boost? Yeah, we Boost, yeah, it, that's for my wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that community and the car world is 
is pretty much what we do it for. Uh, we could love our cars on our own, but loving them in a group, I mean, it's just so much more. You get to share your knowledge of your vehicle. Uh, you get to share your knowledge of vehicles in general. Uh, I mean, I grew up with hot rod magazines, you know, all over my bedroom and four wheel drive truck magazines. Uh, you get into the internet age and you hear about what Australia has going on and their off-road off -road scene. It's yeah. just incredible how far ahead they are in the market. Uh, seeing your build come, you know, as far yeah. as it has with, with proven parts, yeah. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. I have a 2018 Power Wagon. Uh, it's a used vehicle I got. I had a 14 Ram before. We have three adolescent kids. The room is unmatched. I mean, we got a little detailing bottle here. We got room galore. Yeah. You know, the kids fit in here with uh, so much space. Capacity, uh, ability, the power wagons come with the front and rear locker. They come with disconnecting sway bars. They come with a winch. Uh, I figured if we can have us everything we need in one package, you know, let's do it. And when I can get myself my own personal off-roading rig, trail rig, you know, then my personalization can come into this style. But coming out to meet and greets, uh, coffee and cars, things like that, it's going to promote, you know, our passions. You know, right now, uh, the four-wheel dr drive truck scene, the off-road and overlanding scene is just taking the U.S. by storm. Uh, people getting out, going out and do something, arriving there and having the experience in nature uh, that that they've been needing since we've been in lockdowns and, and all these other type of COVID stuff. Uh, we're grateful that the United States has so much space and parks and availability for us to get out there in a two-wheel drive car, in a four-wheel drive truck, in a heavily modified car, or a, a nice equipped uh, factory vehicle. It's what we do, you know, and if we can help somebody along the way who's just getting the foot in the door, then, then that's what we're here for. tiempo he querido un Volkswagen viejito, desde que estaba yo muy pequeño, mi abuelito tenía uno y siempre quise uno, por esa razón siempre me enfoqué en buscar uno de ese tipo, de este año, no, no exactamente el año, pero de este tipo de, de, de año, están las micas chiquitas atrás, y son muebles, se miran más viejitos que, que los demás. The turnout is great. So many people out here supporting Yaki and, you know, just being, a, having some awareness for, you know, the animals that need to be rescued. All of Sonia's work, some people didn't even know Yaki even existed. So this is a good event for her, you know, and it, it's just to promote, you know, rescues, um, uh, adoptions, um, you know, people who want to volunteer as fosters. Um, so I'm so happy, the turnout's great. Uh, thank you for bringing your club here. And, you know, uh, people are just having a good time and helping animals that really need some support. Yaki is a nonprofit organization. We're a no-kill facility. Uh, currently, we, ha we house about 250 animals on an 80-acre ranch. Being no-kill, means that we care for all these animals on a daily basis, um, plus all the other animals that we help on the side, which are many, many, because we are going through a really difficult time right now with a stray population. Well, volunteers are everything to us. I mean, without them, we wouldn't be able to do much, like this event in particular. Um, we want to thank Dr. Wade Graham and Leticia Graham for inviting us to this wonderful event. Motors and Mutts, and uh, we were able to bring the, the two loves together, the love of cars and the love of animals, and it's, it's a wonderful thing. Animals are so important in our lives, and a lot of people don't realize that until they come and meet one of our beautiful little furry friends. And I'm telling you, it can make such a difference in your life. So give it, give it a try, please. There were way too many cool cars to feature. 
this video is already running way too long, but I want to take a moment to thank every single one of you who attended. I had never done anything like this before and shooting interviews really didn't give me enough time to personally chat with everyone. I hope we can do this again soon and I will focus more on the one-on-one -on -one attention rather than the camera. I will put together another video to exclusively highlight two of my favorite rigs at Motors & Mutts. Yes, I'm talking about the imported Defenders, so stay tuned for that. And up for adoption we have... Mila, Fiona, and Carter. And guys, if by the time that this video uploads, if these beautiful, beautiful little animals are not up for adoption by any chance, remember, they still have plenty more out there, okay? So please help them out, check them out. How can they get a hold of you, by the way? They can uh, message the Yaki page on Facebook, Yaki Animal Rescue. Or our webpage, yakianimalrescue.com.